Well, time now for our Lost Creek Care Center food segment, which today involves the number five. Today we're making five minute no bake peanut butter granola bars. We're missing Zach this week. He's actually directing this portion of the show, but he's already tried them. He's already told me they're really good and given me all his little tips to success so that we can make sure that Andy and Mark are all ready to go. I'm ready. Is it really just five minutes? Well, you know, we've got like... This segment will go ten. This segment is supposed <laughs> to be six minutes. So I guess we're going to, uh, to, to test it out and see. We better hurry. Okay. Does this count as the part of the five minutes? Well, we've got when does the start of the five minute no bake cookie segment okay. begin? You at home, <laughs> you at home, start your watch right now and then you get back to us and let us know how long it actually took. Great thing about this is it doesn't even have very many ingredients. Five, right? Well, more like eight ingredients. I so to get things going, I'm going to give you the wet portion. Okay. You need to come up with half a cup, it's supposed to be half a cup of brown rice syrup. I couldn't find that at the regular store, so we're using honey. Mm. Is that from a local apiary? Well, this particular one is from, from Michigan. Which bowl you know, am I going? I Which would bowl? definitely prefer to go Bowling. local if possible. And then you're going to do a third of a cup of creamy peanut butter. We're actually kind of doing this backwards. That's step two. I'm letting oh, you do step I'm two sorry. first. You get to do the dry ingredients, Mark. One and three quarters cup rolled oats. So sorry I gave you a fourth cup. You're going to have to put, you know how many fourth cups you'll need? Well, if I need one and a third cups, I'll need four fourth cups and about uh, two thirds of a fourth. Fun with fractions. Such, uh, such, you know, this, this guy is more than sports, I tell you. How many peanut butter cups? How many peanut butter? One third cup creamy peanut butter. Mm. Now realize when you're doing this at home, you, you, you're actually going to be doing the dry part first and then you're going to be doing the wet part second Close and mixing enough. it together. Okay, Mark, next, you need one cup of the crispy brown rice cereal. Now that is cocoa, so it's kind of making it a little more sugary. If you want to make sure it's not quite so sugary, then you'll use something like crisp rice. You I said a, a full cup? A full cup, yep, a full cup. Close enough. <laughs> All right, next we have uh, one, quarter cup, one fourth cup pumpkin seeds. And one green cup pumpkin cup seeds? Sunflower seeds. I've never seeds. seen those. They must be organic. That's what the pumpkin seeds Quarter cup of each. Quarter cup of each. That's what they look like. That's what they look like. Oh, Close enough. Wow. I've, I've hey, opened up Mark, a pumpkin before. Mark, why don't you hand, hand me those old fashioned oats? Thank you. It's not a Quaker on those, though. It's not. I'm confused. These, these are from Meyer, our friends at Meyer, whom we love. Are there new fashioned oats? State of the art. <laughs> I quarter cup of the uh, sunflower quarter seeds. Quarter cup of the sunflower seeds. Mm, and I then Mark's sunflower. favorite ingredient, chia seeds. Eighth of a cup of chia seeds. Is now, this going to grow green moss on it? Calls though? for a quarter cup. We're just doing an eighth of a cup, partially because I like chia seeds and I don't want to give all of them to you and I want to save some for later. Is that part of a chia pet? Close enough. <laughs> What's a chia uh, no, 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 no. You missed that. Oh, okay, stop. Oh. oh my goodness. Looks like now, pepper. When you, that was a lot less than an eighth of a cup. When you try this at home, don't forget that we have specific actual measurements that you can use. You need some vanilla. Oh, I'll eyeball these. it. Okay, now mix up your things. I did. Mix some more. Did, Tech, actually, are these like sprinkles? So Andy has the wet part here. Right. And it's recommended to put that in a microwave to make it a little bit easier for mixing. When I was working on this at home, we actually don't have a microwave in our house, so I just did it over the stove. You don't believe in microwaves? We, oh, well, that's a whole other topic. Well, aren't we you hardy for a long time? But anyway, <laughs> we did it on the stove. Now, can you add raisins to this? I, if you really <laughs> want to make them, well, my husband likes raisins, so I won't say. What's wrong name. with raisins? I don't understand why people don't like raisins. Don't like raisins. We are going to just do you like with beef the jerky? Recipe. I always think it's, it's okay. important to try the recipe first. There's no first fundamental the difference between raisin and beef jerky. <laughs> Guys, we have five minutes. Fruit and meat. Oh, we've already hit the five minute mark. <sighs> so the, the next thing is. What's the purpose of a chia seed? To grow no flavor. Mix this together. I think it's together. a con conspiracy now, brought on by point, the floss industry. At this point, you need to need to use a little bit of muscle. That's why I have my muscle men here to help mix this together and put it all together. Now, here you go. Mix it up so it's nice and consumed properly. I don't know. I already messed it up. Can you eat it raw? Or will well, I get salmonella? Well, you know what, though? Here's the great <laughs> thing about it. It's a no-bake recipe, Andy. So as Mark is mixing it up. So it is raw, up, no matter what. Mark's mixing it up, and as soon as he's got it to the point. Mark, can you see why it might actually be good to microwave or stovetop some of those uh, sticky the, the wet ingredients? Yeah, you just want to liquefy them a little bit more. Right, so that the mixing part moves along a little more quickly. Probably too much peanut butter on my spoon. I'm not in there. I, I think that's why he's having trouble, because part of 
I was selfish. You were selfish. <laughs> okay, so he's got it all mixed up. Sort we're gonna of. just put it into a shallow mm -hmm. pan. I'm using oh, a flat spatula to, that to Is that a pie pan? flatten it off into um, off here. That's that's I don't know, a pampered chef all purpose do everything stoneware pan. Oh. So, how many minutes did that take? Uh, we're about five and a half, six minutes. Oh, we can't at this eat point. it yet, right? You can't. Well, you, you're eating it. That's true. How's it taste? Peanut butter's great. So here you go. Finished product. This is all it takes. Just a few minutes. Put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes minimum. It can even be overnight. Voila! Da 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 da. And I have to tell you, our crew has already tried it. That's I why guess you so. can see that it's missing. Obviously, the consistency has changed. Things are a little bit different. I don't get to use the knife this week. Go ahead, guys. Take a try it's at got it. Green stuff in it. It's kind of odd. It's very good. It's like a homemade kind bar. Healthy, no bake, five minute peanut butter granola bars. We're going to have the complete, correct measurements and recipe available for you on our website, faithandfriends.wtlw.com. Um, not bad? Oh. Correct. Does that mean we're doing it incorrectly? I have to tell you, my children made this one. <laughs> my 10 and 11 year old daughters and made this one. And your other children one. made this one. These guys made this one. I'll let you guys all live. You can give your opinions. We love to hear comments back from you on these things. Here's some milk.